Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can customize your character's eyes and teeth. So right now on the screen we have uh, beautiful Sandra, the Christmas angel. Uh, we've selected her from our actor tab, 3D actor, and this Sandra character right here. I've just added some uh, actor style onto her here, this angel female actor style. And we've added a Christmas environment here as well, this Christmas party environment. So that's what we have on the screen right now. So if you want to customize your character's eyes, there's a couple of ways to do that. Uh, the first way is go to Actor Elements right here. And in Actor Elements, you should have a folder called Eyes. And when you double click on this folder, you have the option to open up a whole bunch of different folders for various types of eyes. So this monster one, for example, we can double click that and give her like these uh, uh, creepy looking vampire eyes, these uh, blue kind of uh, uh, alien monster eyes. And these are kind of like a darker vampire type eyes. So we have those monster type eyes. There's also comic eyes. You probably wouldn't want to use that on this type of realistic uh, character because it looks a little bit too comical. Um, for example, these ones right here look a little bit creepy. Uh, so let's go back to eyes. And there's also animes and others eyes. Um, for example, these are the eyes that come with Crazy Talk 8. We have Nasser, who is a uh, 2D uh, character like that. You can see the uh, comic appearance to the eyes. Let's go back to eyes and go back to the human folder right here. So here we can just choose from a number of synthetic eyes. Now that's an important point. Uh, these are these eyes here are all template eyes. When you face fit a character and you bring it directly into uh, Crazy Talk from face fitting, you will have a little bit of an issue with the eyelids. And I'll explore that in a different tutorial called Enhancing Face Fitting Eyes, and that'll show you how to get rid of all that stuff. But for now, we're basically just using all the eye templates in Crazy Talk 8 that come embedded with the programs. You can see we get nice green uh, teal eyes there, and uh, you know, basically all the colors of the rainbow you can select from uh, your templates over here. All right, so let's move on to our eye settings. So with eye settings, we can go up to this button right here, which is eye settings, and it'll zoom in on our character's face, and we can take a closer look at the eyes. Now, we have this gizmo here, this little reference image. You can choose the eyelashes or the eyeballs right here. You can also choose these radio buttons. You can also choose to uh, select one eye at a time. For example, if I only want to move the right eye or the left eye, I can deselect uh, the respective boxes. And if we go to this move section over here, we can move the eyes individually. You can see my eyes are slowly moving to the right there and moving to the left using these buttons right here. We can also move them up and down. Now, if you move them down too far, keep in mind that it won't really look like your character is looking at you. It'll look like the character is looking at something else and it's not, not really interested. So generally the position that you want the eyes to be in is where the iris is are kind of just slightly touching the bottom eyelid there. It looks more engaging to the user. So I'd recommend, you know, try and keep this position for the eyes. And there's also eye depth. For example, if we wanted to, you know, totally change this, we can also enter in a value, something like negative one, and we can, you know, totally pop out the eyes like that. Uh, you know, slowly bring them back in by clicking up here. But we don't want to do that right now. That's only in extreme cases that you need to uh, change the eye position. So we'll change that back to zero. And there's also the scale of the eyes. You can scale the eyes uh, larger if you want. I believe we had them at, uh, you know, let's say for example, uh, well not zero. <laughs> That'll give her no eyes. Two, for example. Uh, but I think we'll just leave that the original 1.4 that we had right here. So it's fairly good at estimating the eyes that your character needs. Now we have our eye diffu Im diffuse image right here. So this is the diffuse image that's uh, you know representing our character's eyes. And this same diffuse image comes with all these eye templates right here. Now we're not going to get into Photoshop right now for the eyes. We're going to ex explore that like I mentioned in a separate tutorial. Um, but uh, you can also down here adjust like various properties for the eyes. Now keep in mind that this adjusts the entire eye. So if I wanted to like change the hue for example, notice that it's also changing the whites of my eyes, which we may or may not want. Uh, probably not in this case. So let's change the hue back to zero. You can decrease the saturation slightly, and that does help a little bit towards, um, you know, uh, adjusting the color uh, to a little bit of a better, um, more realistic value as, as opposed to uh, the, the whites of the eyes. Uh, take that saturation up a little bit there. There we go. All right, so you, can, you kind of get the point there. Just decrease the saturation and, and modify the hue. But uh, again, unless you're doing the whole eye modification, I don't recommend using these sliders right here. There's also contrast and brightness. If you want to have like a you know, crazy demonic character with white eyes, you can give it 100% brightness, and that looks pretty creepy. So we'll just go back down to zero. 
And then there's also eyelashes here as well. So eyelashes are fun to play around with. You can deselect the eyelashes and then she takes off all her mascara and makeup there. Uh, reapply those eyelashes. And if you go to the eyelash button right here, you can also modify the diffuse and opacity maps for the eyelashes. Uh, we won't worry about that in this tutorial. Let's just take a look at how we can explore the uh, eyelash length. So we can uh, adjust that slider right there. We can curl them, uh, increase the length to like a maximum value, and then we get those really funky like uh, mascara commercial type eyelashes. Uh, we'll just leave them back down to something a bit more reasonable like this. And again, you can also preview the eyes as well. So if you press preview, you can rotate your eyes around like this. All right? So um, any eyes that you apply you can rotate them by selecting the preview button down here. You can also close your eyes and see your character with their eyes closed. All right, so let's close down the eye settings for right now and let's take a look at a different type of character. Uh, this character right here, we can just go ahead and uh, select a new project. We don't need to save this one for now. Let's go to actors and let's add in our boy JP. Now JP is a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to give him like a beach male template right here, actor style template, and we'll give him a atmosphere like he's at the beach just to make things complete. There we go. Now JP is a little bit different from the previous character that we had. And what you can tell that is let's go into the eye settings for JP. So JP is actually a character, if we select the eyeballs here, he's a character that was created in Character Creator and he was imported into Crazy Talk 8. We may uh, make this function available in the future. Uh, so just keep stay tuned for that if we eventually do that in the future. But uh, notice that the diffuse map on the eyes is slightly different. So this eye is this type of character. The eye map is different, which means you can modify it in a different way. So if I go to like hue, for example, you can see the uh, type of uh, it's ch basically changing the entire hue of my entire diffuse map there. And then we can take down that saturation right there, and uh, you can get a more you know kind of a different look but again I don't recommend using these sliders here unless you want to modify the entire eye. I recommend going into Photoshop and I'll show you how to do that in the other tutorial like I mentioned. And notice this character also doesn't have the traditional eyelashes that are applied to your photo fitting characters. But the reason I brought JP in here is because I want to demo his teeth because JP has beautiful nice teeth but we're going to kind of mess them up a little bit. We're going to do a little bit of Photoshop stuff um, but first of all let's go over here to actor elements. And let's go to our uh, base folder here and into teeth. And once we're into teeth, you can see we have tons of different uh, teeth templates we can apply. We have this uh, kid smiling uh, 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 teeth template there. So uh, JP has some pretty messed up like kid's teeth. You can give him some hockey teeth like he's missing his front teeth. Those are also a little bit dirty. Um, and vampire teeth if we wanted JP to be a vampire. Um, these ones are uh, crooked and uh, relatively white. Uh, there's one that uh, has uh, large gaps in between them, like similar to that. Uh, you know, it really depends on what type of character you're trying to create and what sort of effect you want. Uh, this one here is like missing teeth, so you know, he's been busted up quite a bit. Let's just go back and keep the normal teeth right here. We'll just give uh, JP his normal teeth. Now what we can do for the teeth is we can also go here into teeth settings. So we apply those templates and now we have teeth settings. You can select upper teeth, lower teeth, and tongue. You can modify them all separately. Now you can also just move them as well. If I move uh, on the x-axis, you can see the results right there. I can also move on the y-axis and the z-axis here. You can see I can move the entire uh, section of teeth up and down like that. We can also scale them as well. So if I go to scale again, we can scale them down on the x-axis like this. Uh, it really depends on your type of character, but generally Crazy Talk 8 is pretty good at fitting the uh, correct size of teeth to your character. So we can scale them again like this on the y-axis. Now, one thing that you may want to keep in mind is if you're doing uh, lip syncing, you can select this box here that says check FV. So this means if your character has a F or a V phoneme shape on their on their mouth, you want to check this just to make sure in case you want to like, you know, for, for some reason really lower your teeth down here. So if we go like something like this, you know, you want to, obviously you don't want the teeth to be biting through the lip there. You want to keep it in a reasonable spot. Um, so you want to make sure that you check F and V on this one. And uh, if you want to reset, you can go back to reset. And this button here will reset back to your original status. And you can change the brightness as well of the teeth. So for example, the upper teeth, I can change the brightness. And that's really all you need to know about this teeth settings panel. 
let's go ahead and try to customize the tea slightly. I'm going to do a little bit of Photoshop stuff right here. So I'm going to take my diffuse map right here, make sure it's selected, and go ahead and save this out. And let's save it to my desktop. I'm going to call it T01. Okay, and let's go to our desktop here. And I want to right click it and open it with Adobe Photoshop. So in Photoshop, what we're going to be doing is we're going to create one golden tooth and one missing tooth. And this is a really quick procedure in Photoshop. Let's hold the Alt key and scroll in a little bit here to zoom in. Now notice that some of the areas of the teeth are a little bit darker than the others. Uh, these two teeth at the top, these are the two front teeth. And it goes back respectively to the back of the mouth um, as you get to the further down on this image. So these two front teeth again here at the top where it's lighter and then it goes back to the back teeth right here. So let's try and create one of our front teeth. Let's try and make it golden. Now the way we can do this is we can go ahead and let's just use our quick select tool over here. Quick select tool. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit and let's just select this uh, tooth area right here. It doesn't have to be super accurate. Just keep that in mind. I can also hold the Alt key to deselect a certain area that I don't want, which I'm going to do in this case because our quick select isn't being completely accurate. Let's just go to here again. I think it's a pretty sloppy job. It doesn't have to be completely accurate. Just keep that in mind. There we go. I think that should be good. And let's go ahead and choose a brush tool and let's choose a nice golden color. I think that looks pretty golden right there. Maybe a little bit too, uh, yeah, that's fine. It's orangish. Maybe it's something more, a bit more yellow. There we go. All right. So then we can just go ahead with this part selected. Let's just brush over top of it like this really quickly. So we have this, uh, yellow area. Now to create a more metallic appearance, we can go to filter and let's go to noise and add some noise in there. And, um, you know, we can determine the amount of noise that we want. Something like that would be okay. Maybe a little bit more because what we're going to do is we're going to blur this afterwards to create a more metallic look. Uh, let's go ahead and press okay and then filter again. And I'm going to blur it using a motion blur. And now we can get a sort of a, Kind of a cool, like, metallic looking effect like that. Again, it's not super detailed and you can refine this, you know, later on on your own time, but, uh, the amount of blurring will determine, you know, sort of the type of effect you get. Let's just go ahead for something like, uh, well, I think this one looks like a brush metal right there. Uh, it's a bit too yellow, but that's fine. We'll just work with this. Okay. So we'll just do that and file save as. And I'm going to save this as a JPEG. We'll save it as teeth02 to our desktop here. Save it just like that. And let's go into Crazy Talk and double click our diffuse channel. And we're going to replace the current map with teeth02. And there's our golden tooth right there. So we've successfully created a golden tooth. Now the next step here we want to take is we want to make one of the teeth disappear. So let's go ahead and get to that. Let's go to this same image right here. And what I'm going to do is create a new layer by going down here to create new layer. And in this new layer, I'm just going to fill it with a white, pure white color. All right. So I'm just going to click the fill tool right here, select a white color and just, oops, we need to control D to deselect that area that we have selected. And let's just create a nice white area. Whoops. We need to go up here and make sure our opacity is at uh, 100 here. Uh, in case you don't have that selected and then boom, there we have our white, uh, layer right there. Now with the layer selected, I want to change the opacity down to something like, uh, 30 so we can see the, uh, layer underneath. And this is where we're going to place some black, uh, paint over top of the teeth that we don't want to appear. So let's make our other front tooth disappear and let's go to our brush right here. And again, select a color, let's select a pure black in this case. And we can just zoom in really closely on this tooth right here. And we can use our bracket key to reduce the size of our brush slightly if we want. And let's go ahead and paint with black ink all the way over top of that uh, tooth right here. So basically what we're doing is we're, we are basically canceling out this tooth. We're making it invisible. And then we can go and uh, increase our opacity on that particular layer to 100. And this is our opacity map, this black blob in the middle of this uh, image right here. So let's go ahead and save this out. File, save as, and we'll save it as a JPEG, of course. We'll call this Teeth Opacity. Dun, 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 and save that. Okay. And then back in Crazy Talk, what we're going to do is double click on our opacity channel. 
and loading that teeth opacity map. And boom, our teeth, our front tooth just disappears right there. So now we have a golden tooth and a missing tooth. And that's basically how you can modify the teeth with a little bit of really quick and easy Photoshop. I just wanted to show you that for example there. Uh, so let's go ahead and close down our teeth settings right now. We can apply a nice, uh, you know, auto motion to our character or uh, let's go to our motions over here and let's apply a voice script actually. I think there's one here that suits uh, JP. This bragging one right here. Double click that. Ah! So what? You can't touch me. <laughs> so there's our I'm from the JP internet. with his golden tooth and his missing tooth just being all cocky and, and bragging and stuff like that. So that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And we will have other tutorials that go into more detail on uh, customizing your eyes in particular in Photoshop. So if you have any questions or comments, you can uh, write them in the YouTube comments below or you can check out our forums, forum.relusion.com. And I will see you next time.